Hi everyone, welcome to Graybeard's Jewels. Here are 10 fun facts about California. Number 1. Sequoia National Park is home to the world's largest tree by volume, General Sherman. The Sequoia was named after the Civil War General by a naturalist who had served under him. This mighty beast can be found in the giant forest section of Sequoia National Park in Tulare County, California. This mammoth tree is said to be around 2,500 years old and is the mightiest giant sequoia still standing. The massive tree is 275 feet tall with a base diameter of 36 feet. General Sherman is not the tallest living tree. That distinction goes to a coast redwood named Hyperion, which stands a towering 380.1 feet. Nor is it the widest. That title is held by a Montezuma cypress known as Arbol del Tule, with a diameter of 38.1 feet. It's also not the oldest. That is a great basin bristlecone pine named Old Hara that is an estimated to be over 5,000 years old. General Sherman is the largest tree in volume. That means if you take both the height and width of the tree together, it is more massive than any other. In other words, if heaven forbid it was cut down, it would provide the most wood of any tree alive. A fence around the base protects the shallow roots. While the roots of the sequoia are shallow, they are widespread and intermingle with the roots of others nearby, forming a strong network of roots that help them all maintain their balance and stability. Number 2. Castroville is known as the artichoke capital of the world. In May of every year, they hold the Castroville Artichoke Festival, which was started in 1959. Here, they pay tribute to the unique vegetable which was first introduced to the state by Italian immigrants. The festival includes a parade, live music, farmer's markets, artichoke dishes of every sort, and a Marilyn Monroe lookalike contest. Why, you ask? In 1948, a young, still pretty much unknown, Norma Jean Baker, who we know today as Marilyn Monroe, was sent to the area to act as a model for a promotional event held by a jeweler in nearby Salinas. Spending a week in the area, she made various appearances to promote her fledgling career. While there, representatives from the California Artichoke Association presented her with a sash proclaiming her artichoke queen. Images of Marilyn in her sash holding artichokes was iconic advertising for the industry. Number 3. The California poppy was named the official state flower in 1903. Also known as the flame flower, among other names, these poppies grow wild throughout the state. California poppies usually have four silky petals that close at night and reopen in the morning. While this flower comes in other colors, the golden poppy is the only one recognized as a state flower, as it goes hand in hand with California being known as the golden state. Other reasons for the nickname include the gold rushes that have happened here, and gold being the state mineral. These flowers were valued by area Native Americans as both a food source and for the oil extracted from the plant. The flower can be used as a garnishment for food and the seeds can be cooked and eaten. These poppies aren't opium poppies, but are said to have medicinal values as well, including helping with insomnia, bedwetting, liver and bladder diseases, nervous agitation, and pains in various parts of the body. But don't take that as medical advice. Number 4. The California grizzly bear is the official state animal. This subspecies of brown bear is now unfortunately extinct. They were comparative to the Kodiak bear found in southern Alaska. When Anglo-Saxon settlers came to California, they were so impressed by the size, strength, and beauty of the bear that they put one on their flag. In 1846, these settlers rebelled against Mexico and staged the Bear Flag Revolt, declaring independence and became the unrecognized California Republic, or Bear Flag Republic, for a short 25 days. Later, 
As many more settlers came to the area with the discovery of gold, huge herds of cattle were brought into California which greatly diminished the bear's natural habitat. The bears were forced to kill the livestock and then became most wanted by area ranchers. As a result, campaigns were held against the bears which included trapping, poisoning, and shooting the majestic creatures. In less than 75 years, the population was wiped out and officially declared extinct in 1924. Number 5. Inyo National Forest is home to the bristlecone pine. There are three types of trees classified under the term bristlecone pine, so named for the prickly bristles on the immature dark purple female cones. They are the Rocky Mountains bristlecone pine, foxtail pine, and Great Basin bristlecone pine. The latter boasts the longest living non-clonal or original organisms on Earth. The forest is home to the tree named Old Hara, which is estimated to be over 5,000 years old, and Methuselah, which is no spring chicken, at an estimated 4,850 years old. All three species of bristlecone pines are long-lived and slow-growing. They have shallow branching roots and are braced by a few larger branching roots which help them thrive in what most plants consider poor soil and harsh weather conditions, including very little rainfall. The wood is dense and resinous, making it resistant to pests like insects and fungi. In fact, the wood is so durable it erodes rather than decays. The lack of diversity in plant and tree life in the area also may help to explain the longevity as they aren't in great competition for survival. Great Basin Bristlecone Pines grow high in the White Mountains of Inyo County in Eastern California. Number 6. The grapes grown in California make about 17 million gallons of wine per year, which comes out to about 272 million glasses or enough for about 80% of the U.S. population to raise a glass. California wine production accounts for nearly 85% of the wine produced in America. As a matter of fact, if California were its own country, it would be the fourth largest wine producer in the world. During the 18th century, Spanish missionaries planted the first vineyards. Initially used for religious sacraments and some daily use, the wine industry took off. There are currently over 427,000 acres of vineyards serving 3,674 wineries in the state. California grows 80 different varieties of grape, including the red varieties of Merlot, Pinot Noir, and Ruby Cabernet and white varieties such as Chardonnay, Riesling, and Muscat, just to name a few. Number 7. Recognized as the hottest, driest place in the United States, Death Valley is a desert valley in eastern California in the northern Mojave Desert. It isn't uncommon for summer temperatures to reach 115 degrees or higher. The world's highest ever verified temperature of 134.1 degrees Fahrenheit was recorded at Furnace Creek Ranch on July 10, 1913. This is one of the hottest places on Earth, compared to Middle Eastern and Saharan Desert climates. The area has extremely hot, long, dry summers and short, mild winters. The area receives an average of less than 2 inches of rain a year due to its geographical position, sitting in the rain shadow of four major mountain ranges. Death Valley is also home to the lowest elevation in the United States, Badwater Basin. It sits at 282 feet below sea level. Remarkably, the record low spot is only about 85 miles away from the record high spot in the lower 48, Mount Whitney. Number 8. Speaking of Mount Whitney, 
This peak was named by the California Geological Survey for Josiah Whitney, who is California's state geologist, and is a staggering 14,505 feet tall. As this mountain is relatively frequently climbed, you must get a permit before you go. This helps to control the impact of adventure seekers on the natural environment. The shortest and most popular route to the top begins at 8,374 feet at the Whitney Portal in Inyo National Forest and stretches 10.7 miles to the summit. If you are more adventurous, there are other more difficult and longer trails to choose from. The eastern slope sits in Inyo National Forest and the west slope is in the Sequoia National Park. Number 9 Straddling the California-Oregon border, Klamath Basin National Wildlife Refuge boasts a wide variety of habitats. As a result, it's home to many species of both plant and animal. The area is home to the largest concentration of wintering bald eagles in the lower 48 states. Some eagles start arriving in November, but the real attraction doesn't happen until January and February when the migration to the area is at a peak, with varying populations that have reached over 1,000 birds. Many waterfowl winter in the marshy areas, and the eagles can feast on a buffet of weak and fallen ducks and area rodents. What a great deal for this migrating carnivore! Number 10. Pacific Park on the famous Santa Monica Pier recreates the amusement parks that once dotted the ocean along the Pacific Coast. It is currently the only amusement park on the West Coast that is situated on a pier. The park houses 12 rides, including the world's first solar-powered Ferris wheel, named the Pacific Wheel, and a roller coaster that encircles the park. You don't have to pay to enter the park, but individual rides and attractions do charge fees. There's also over a dozen midway games, lending players the opportunity to win a prize that can provide a lasting reminder of the fun you had while visiting this unique attraction. In closing, we hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, please subscribe, like, share, and comment below. We'd love to hear from you regarding future topic suggestions. As always, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.